Okay, I have my camera and stuff set up for work anyway, so I'll try and uh, keep this brief. This is a video for the Just Giving page for me, running the Berlin 100 mile ultra marathon, which is happening in 10 days. 10 days? Uh, and I am uh, I'm raising money for Mind, uh, a charity from the UK who uh, uh, try to give mental health support and uh, to some extent addiction support because they very much understand that those two things are interlinked uh, to everybody, regardless of who they are, where they come from, what the present press, government, slash public opinion of people is. Um, everyone deserves that kind of health uh, help, and that's what they're trying to give people. Um, and I'm trying to raise £500 for them. The race is a 100-mile foot race without stopping, uh, which follows the path of the Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall... Uh, so Germany was split down the middle, yes, East and West Germany, yes. But there was also a weird island of West Germany in Berlin called West Berlin. And uh, the wall cut the city in half and then went round its west border. Now, to some of you, this is obvious and stuff that you knew. But to people about my age who might not quite remember the wall even coming down, I was a bit too young, it's still insane. I live here. I've lived in Berlin for 10 years and I still can't quite wrap my head around the fact that this city was walled off. That's the kind of thing that I read about in sci-fi novels by China Melville, not, not real life outside my door. Um, so, yeah. The race itself uh, is, is actually a quite serious affair. It is a jolly, jolly ultra marathon. I see how much pain you can take. <laughs> but it also uh, is by people who were uh, victims of the wall, people who had family members who died because of the wall. Men, women and children were shot and drowned trying to cross the wall. And this year specifically honours Erna Kelm, who was a mother who died in 1962. She drowned trying to swim across the Havel. Uh, she worked in West Berlin, her children were in East Berlin, and she used to visit them to see them, and for this reason she was suspected of being a spy, apparently. It's just all so fucking horrible. It really is, yeah. The history of it all is a little too much to even bear uh, for someone who wasn't from here, so I can't even begin to imagine what people who lived through that feel on a day-to-day -day basis here. And this race, while it is a jolly fun, can we do it, has a serious history, and look at the links in the Just Giving page or in this YouTube video if you'd like to find out more about that. All right, I said I was going to try and keep this short, and I've already waffled for more than two minutes. Uh, please do uh, give me money, not me, like give the, the Just Giving page money if you can. If you cannot, I would highly appreciate it if you could share this or one of the other social media posts I've done about this on your social media at some point in the next 10 days, although I'll probably keep the page up for a little while afterwards. Um, and try and raise at least 500 quid for Mind. Um, whatever happens, no matter how much we raise, I'm also going to donate 500 quid to Mind. So if we meet the total and I give them 500 quid, that's a grand going to Mind. And I think that's a grand going in the right direction in these strange times where all of us probably need a little bit of help. Right, that's enough. Thank you for watching this. If you did, if you didn't, you're not seeing this anyway. Uh, yeah, 